What's up, multiverse lovers? Today we're here with another Reddit video, and it's been a little, it's been a long time since I made a Reddit video. I haven't made one since like June, and then I just want to wait to Money in the Bank, and then Summer Slam's coming up very soon, and then also I'm gonna have another procedure, procedure, because I had one a lot a while ago, and then I have to take another one because they didn't get into my stomach that far, so. You know, just going to see what, what's up with my stomach. And let's just actually get started. Okay, so if you're gonna hear a lot of um, background and if you're gonna hear a lot of noise in the background, I'm watching Loud House from the first season to whatever season they have they have available on uh, Prime. But, um, but focus on the Reddit. So when you hear that rest, when you hear that one wrestling theme, you turn it up, you start banging. Which one is that for me? To me, it has to be like Jay Uso's. Um, you know, it's just me, Us, day one, you know. And then another one has to be, uh, hold on, let me fix my hair. But yeah, another one has to be like, um, probably Jimmy's. Like, you know, I was born a king, family path. And then, um, who else? Yeah. What? Oh yeah. He said per me personally is Gunther. Yeah, Gunther's go hard. And then I, you know, I will like dance to Sami Zayn's a little bit. You know. Oh 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 oh. Besides Randy, who should? Who would you? Who would you have? Have to throw Cody? Okay, it's literally like the obvious answer. I, to me, it feel like it should be The Rock at this point. Oh. Yeah, to me, it should be The Rock. Like, if you really think about it, he said, you finished with Roman Reigns, but you have not finished with The Rock. But um, the thing is, like, that should be, uh, that should have been this year's, uh, this SummerSlam's main event, Rock versus um, Cody. That should have been, like, um, SummerSlam. And then we might see, like, um, like almost like everybody returning, like Jimmy Solo. Oh no, Jimmy Jay coming back with the Usos. Like small pieces of the of that rivalry would have made it a little better for Cody and The Rock. So yeah, I would have to pick The Rock. What? Let's see what everybody else is saying. To me, honestly, why Randy should dethrone Cody? I'm all ears. Uh, the only, okay, I have a good reason, but I feel like just beating, you know, the whole mas the student beating the master and the student becomes the master, and all, you know what I'm talking about? It's literally like history between these two, and this prime Cody versus Randy Orton. Gunther, I, I guess so. I don't like Gunther, but I don't think he should beat him for it. Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Man, I have been hearing him popping on NXT and I started to like him. Hold on, let me turn on the light. But yeah, I've been hearing him popping up on NXT for a minute. And like, it, like, I started to know him. Like, I'm sorry, seeing this song for a minute. Like, like, I started to know him for like, for a long, for a while. But like, I've been on him for about like, at least a month. But when I first heard him, I was like, how, how do I know him? Braun Breaker, he's too new. Yeah, I have to say he's too new. But yeah, Braun Breaker should do it in the future. Or should become champion in the future. So, literally, okay, yeah. I, okay, finally, I found The Rock. The Rock should be the fine, should be, should actually dethrone Cody Rhodes, like, where I want Roman Reigns versus Rock for the title, and then the whole I feel like they're trying to go back to square one. This just should this just really should be square one, like uh, just a little sneak peek. Um, one, two, and like yeah, sneak peek from three months from now. I'm gonna do WrestleMania 40 predictions in my opinion, and the thing is, uh, we are going to see Rock. And Roman, and most definitely 
the Usos versus the uh, the Tongas, I guess. I don't know what they knew. Or just Bloodline 2.0. Okay, um, so, so they say they named name this album cover, but let me talk about John Cena real quick. John Cena is retiring, and it's, it literally blew my mind like like he was about to retire. I feel like he should, you know, he been he should have, you know, I feel like it was the time for him to retire. And, um, no, I feel like it was. It, it's really the good time for him to retire. But I don't. I am so. I'm just so surprised and sad in, in his inside because, like you know, John Cena is literally top, is literally like my number one, like my number one favorite wrestler of all time. Like, uh, you know, you know, like it's just I'm speechless. But same name. This album cover. cover uh, you can't see me. The last time is now. Uh, the retirement tour. Retirement tour. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, the, the last time is now. My time is up. Your time is now. That yeah. Hustle, loyalty, respect. Yes, I will have to go with that one too. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like no, John. Like seriously, like. John Cena will hurt. There's a lot of retirements that will hurt. It's Edge, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, R Truth. Uh, there's a lot. Oh yeah, AJ Styles for sure because he's second. He's played second in my favorite wrestlers of all time. Like for sure, I really like AJ Styles. Even John Cena, but John Cena is always my number one. What is a dream three on three match? Of yours, I'll go first. We got Bloodline 2.0, and let me guess, it's the OG Bloodline. Oh, the Shield. Okay, I did not expect that, but um, it could happen. Like, you know, we have Roman that has history with his own Bloodline. We got Seth Rollins who's been like, you know, inserted with his own with with you know just past Bloodline, and then Dean Ambrose. He I guess he can, but like, we don't really know when he's coming back. That will happen, but I don't know if it will. Who has the worst finisher right now? I'll go first. That is a cap. Solo Sokoa's like thumb, thumb spike. That that has to be the best one, but it's not. It's not the worst, but like everybody uses it. You know, that's like a ritual or tradition for like someone to use it. It's Samoan spike. Like it'll hurt you. Listen, look. Let's see. Austin Theory is basically a GTS, but with a twist. Yeah, Rose Plant, that takes, it's a good move, but it takes too long to set up. That's like, like Brandon, like Brandon said. The BFT, the BFT is a good finisher, but he's trying to make it like, uh, you know, LA is trying to make it like Stone Colds. GTS. Uh, yes, yeah, I'll give it enough vote. Bailey's Rose Plant, Logan Paul's Punch. Yeah, I would put Logan Paul's Punch before Solo Sokoa. Seriously, like, congratulations, Nick Nemeth. You know, I'm just gonna start calling him Dolph Ziggler. Congratulations, Dolph Ziggler, on becoming TNA World Champion. But I want to be, but I wanted to be Joe Hendry. Hold up, imagine Joe Hendry versus, um, so if that actually happened, Joe Hendry winning that, the, um, the TNA title, world title, we would have had Joe Hendry versus, uh, versus, uh, Ethan Page for the NXT championship or whatever, but, um, I am very happy that Nick Nemeth is, or, uh, or Dolph Ziggler, however you want to put him, is a world champion again. Hold up, let me cook for a second. Imagine this. Okay, so we all we see these guys like getting fired by WWE. Okay, look, we have Nick Nemeth, aka Dolph Ziggler. We have Mustafa Ali. We got a uh, Top Dollar. We also got like Jeff Hardy. People, literally, people getting fired from WWE, and they we can have like a Survivor Series match. A Survivor Series. TNA versus NXT, 
TNA versus WWE. Put the uh, top, uh, put the top uh, champions on. Yeah, just put, just put any champion you want in WWE. Like put it on, put the world, uh, put the uh, NXT world champion right now. Uh, put in the world heavyweight champion. Um, who else? Sami Zayn. Um, who else? Uh, Logan Paul, if you want, or LA Knight, if he's going to dethrone him. But uh, put you really got to put these guys in a uh, Survivor Series. Or yeah, you know what? War Games. That's what I meant to say. War Games. Who's underrated on the mic out of out of these? So we got Braun Breaker, Dominic Mysterio. Bro, he he need, really needs to cut that mustache. That looks horrible on him. Look, look at this. You can see you can see little hairs just sticking out like he's trying to like have a real like curly mustache. He just really needs to cut it off. That's all. Dolph Ziggler, Zelina Vega. I wouldn't really say she's underrated on the mic, but she is good on the mic. So I would say perfectly rated for her. But uh, probably underrated has you know what? Also Dominic has improved on Mac mic so much. He's been doing it all the time on you know but I wouldn't say that one so it's between Dolph Ziggler and Braun Breaker I think I have to say Dolph Ziggler just because you know I've seen Braun Breaker talk but uh, Dolph Ziggler just give it it's his all he tried he really tries but like you know like he's underrated overall John Cena coming out during Money in the Bank Saying, saying that he's retired. Once again, favorite wrestler of all time, or greatest wrestler of all time, a vote. That was my same reaction. Cody winning the Royal, winning the Royal, Royal winning the Rumble and going to WrestleMania. The Rock coming back. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. But um, I thought like if The Rock wasn't. If, I feel like if The Rock was not like involved in all of this, none of this would have had them for Cody. So that's why I have to say that The Rock should dethrone Cody Rose. Who will win this match? All right, let me say something to you. I've been waiting on this match for a very long time, y'all. A very long time. I feel like it should be LA Knight. If it, yeah, it should be LA Knight at this point because like Logan Paul has barely defended his title and he's currently the longest reigning champion on WWE right now. Like that doesn't really make sense. So I have to say that LA Knight has has to win. We've been waiting, we've been waiting for this since WrestleMania, but since it didn't happen at WrestleMania, because AJ Styles got got involved. Um, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens got involved in Logan Paul's business. Now we're seeing them going against each other at SummerSlam. So let's see our thoughts. LA Knight, LA Knight. See, literally everybody's saying LA Knight. That has to be. That really has to be the right winner. Is 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 to me is is to me is long overdue. The new day is officially ten years old. Okay, so let me talk about the new day. So they got me into wrestling as well. They actually made me start start liking wrestling more. Like um, you know, guys like okay, for example, people that got me into wrestling is AJ Styles, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt. Um, even Kofi Kingston too, that real like that like got me watching wrestling. Oh yeah, even Biggie it, or just all of the New Day, the Usos, one of them. They got me into they got me like watching wrestling. But the New Day being ten years old is crazy, and a lot of things has changed so much. So I have to say, you know, Biggie, you know, a lot of things has changed. Like Biggie injured his neck, neck, and I think he's retired. Uh, Kofi Kingston. Uh, he's not really doing hot right now, but it's okay. Xavier Woods is he's still gonna wrestle because he needs to be champion by now.
Which moment will will you remember the most? Okay, it's between one of these two. So I think I think it has to go with this one because, or actually, both of them can be remembered because, like, I never get, I never seen this, I never seen this, but I saw this. So I have to say this one because um, only yeah, it's because like the whole main event was so good. We had uh, Jimmy, Jay, Solo, Cena, uh, The Rock, uh, Seth Rollins, Undertaker, and then Cody Rhodes finishing the story. And you know, every time it's like literally every decade, a uh, the baby a uh, baby face, the top baby faces will win the big title at WrestleMania. And that's one of them. Kofi King, um, I don't say Kofi Kingston. Cody Rhodes. So I will remember this. Okay, uh, so that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. Subscribe to Multiverse Lovers. Still trying to get to 4,000. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.